We've all heard the accusations about Pep Guardiola in that he's only as good a manager as he is because of the teams that he's managed and the money he is allowed to spend. And we've also heard that anyone could win the title with Manchester City. So today I'm going to put that to the test. We're going to swap Pep Guardiola, Manchester City manager, with Rob Edwards, Luton Town manager. So instead we're going to have Rob Edwards, Manchester City manager, and Pep Guardiola, Luton Town Manager. Now, I will caveat this in that I can't lock them into their contracts, so we will also advance through the through a few seasons to see, does Rob Edwards' time in charge allow him to become a top manager due to the reputation boost of hopefully winning the league, if we're to believe the stereotype? And what happens to Pep Guardiola if he gets a relegation on his CV? So as you can see here, we've got Pep Guardiola, Luton Town Manager. We've not changed any of his stats, so that shouldn't affect his ability as a manager. And the same goes for Rob Edwards, who we have made Manchester City manager. And exactly the same, none of his stats have been changed. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Leave a comment down below for me. Do you think Manchester City win the league with Rob Edwards? And how do you think Pep gets on in his first season in charge at Luton? So as you can see, we are now in July 2024. The first season is done. Neither of the jobs are available, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're guaranteed to have stayed in their jobs. So let's have a quick look here. Premier League. The holders are Arsenal. And there's Luton have stayed in the division. By the skin of their teeth, they've stayed in the division by three points. Manchester City finishing third. So I would assume both managers have held their place. Manchester City still have Rob Edwards. His reputation has grown by two stars. Or, no, one star. My bad. One star. And Luton Town still have Pep Guardiola. So let's have a look. How well did Luton hold on there? So Luton had a draw on their final day. So in theory, they were relatively safe already. And just out of interest, what about their head-to-head -head against each other? And we can also see how they got on in the Cups as well. So... If we look from Manchester City's side, they played Luton. They had a 2-1 win, so Pep nearly, nearly getting... The, I say that, it was 2-0, and they got a late goal back. Never really in danger there from the looks of it. And in the other game, it was a 2-0 win for Manchester City with a sending off as well. So Rob Edwards, however, did win the Champions League. So back-to-back -back Champions Leagues for... Manchester City despite their change in manager so although he's not won the league he did also get to the FA Cup final Carabao Cup they went out of that in the third round but although it's not loads he's won the Champions League Rob Edwards somewhat managing to go with that theory that anyone can win it with Manchester City also got to the FA Cup final and lost to Arsenal who won the league so you can't discredit him too much for that I don't think and they're running the Champions League, Leipzig, Real Sociedad, PSG is the first big team that they played there, to be fair, but dealt with them pretty handily. And let's have a look how Pep got on with Luton in the Cups. He ends up out in the third round, 2-1 loss to Crystal Palace. Not horrendous, but you would have thought from 1-0 up, Pep Guardiola teams normally see that out. And in the FA Cup, so they got through the fourth round, got through the fifth round, out in the quarterfinal, but it was to Aston Villa, and they're a pretty good team, so you can't really knock that against him. Where did they finish in the end? Uh, Aston Villa finished in 12th. So not actually a great season for Aston Villa, or Manchester United for that matter. West Ham having a very good season, but that's not what we're, what we're really here to look at. So both managers hold on to their positions. What we'll do now, we'll advance to 2026, two more seasons and see if they're still in their roles then. So 2026 is here, and let's go first of all and have a look at the job centre. Have we got any of the positions available? No, the Manchester United job's gone, but no sign of them here. Let's check the Premier League first. Luton still in the Ch Premier League, and Manchester City, as you'd expect, still in the Champions League. However... No league title. Let's have a look at what's been going on then. So in the second season's in charge, to be fair, Pep bringing Luton up to 14th. That's pretty good there for them. 
well away from the relegation zone. And Manchester City finishing second. So losing out on the title to Arsenal, who have been pretty dominant that season, actually. Winning by eight points. So a good season for City, but not spectacular. And then the most recent season, ooh, Luton just about holding on by one point. So, we, I mean, if that's Pep, that's a bit of a drop-off. In fifth, Manchester City, so a bit of a drop-off there as well. Only managing fifth place. They do get Champions League. I've, that might well be through the league because I think once the restructure happens, I've seen Premier League get five teams in there before. So both teams still in the Premier League, but are they still with their current managers? Luton now have Lee Johnson in charge. Okay, so Pep, when did he leave? Oh, wow. He left in 2024. So those two seasons, neither of them had anything to do with Pep Guardiola. He was out of there pretty quickly. That's the one thing I couldn't lock him into the into the role, unfortunately. I tried putting him on like a contract until 2070, but didn't make a difference. But uh, it's it's one of them, nothing we could do. But Pep, moving on for Pasha's New, we'll have a look at where he went in a moment. Let's check Manchester City. <laughs> <laughs> They've got Pep Guardiola back. <laughs> so, what happened to Rob Edwards? So, to be fair, he lasted until December 2025. So, it's only this season that they've sacked him. And after 25 days with a caretaker, they brought Pep back. So, he did last quite a while. Let's, can we see past positions? We can't, unfortunately because we've checked it too late. Is there a way for us to find that out? Let me investigate. Okay, so he did win the Carabao Cup the, in the second season, but it just says that they were sacked after a series of bad results. I don't think we can find out anywhere what position they were in at that time. So there's no way for us to find out what position they were in at the time. However, what we can see is the run of results that caused it. So a 1-0 loss to Leeds, 1-0 loss to Villa... 1-0 loss to Ajax in the Champions League. 1-0 uh, win against Chelsea, actually. But then a further three losses. 3-2 three to United. 3-2 to Bournemouth and 1-0 to Fulham. So, yeah, definitely understandable with that December why he ended up getting sacked. And I can only imagine they were left in a pretty bad position in the league at that point. And then Pep's come in and done pretty well in that second half of the season. Uh, Rob Edwards, what's become of him at the moment? He's currently unemployed, but he has got up to a four-star reputation. He was two and a half star when he joined City. So it's definitely growing. He's got a Champions League on his CV. He's got a Car Carabao Cup on his CV. So, yeah, that he's done, he's done a good job there. Pep came in and went out of the Champions League to Benfica. That's not great. And let's have a little look at what else Rob Edwards had done in the meantime in the 24-25 season. So that year, they lost the Super Cup to Liverpool. And then in the EFL Cup, oh, actually, we did see they won the EFL Cup against Manchester United in extra time. Despite an own goal in the 90th minute from Edison to send them into extra time. That's a bit crazy. Wonder if he had a bit of money on, on it going for extra time. <laughs> um, and then Champions League, they got knocked out by Barcelona in the quarterfinal. That's not horrendous. And knocked out of the FA Cup by Tottenham, which isn't great because it is Tottenham. But then they went into the FIFA Club World Cup as well. What happened there? Because we know they didn't win it. They went out on penalties in the quarterfinals of Bayern Munich again. That's Bayern Munich. Fair enough on that one. In the EFL Cup, prior to being sacked, in fact, he got sacked as part of them going out of the EFL Cup. Pep came in and got them to the fifth round of the FA Cup, but neither of them could do anything in the Cups that season. So with Pep back at the helm, can Manchester City go back and win a title? And what will become of Rob Edwards? We'll go now until, we'll go till 2030, another four years, and see what they've achieved.
So 2030 is here, a further four seasons on. Are either of the jobs available straight away? Let's filter this down to manager roles. Neither of them are available. Have Luton held on to Premier League football, I wonder? Let's have a quick look and let me know down below. Have Manchester City won a Premier League title? They have Pep Guardiola coming back with a vengeance, winning three of the last four, well... At least, at least one of the last four. We don't know if Pep's still in charge just yet. Let's have a look at what happened. I can't see Luton in the Premier League anymore. So the last season we looked at was 25-26, which Liverpool won. Following that, Pep winning the title by three points from Arsenal and Luton finishing bottom of the league. So they are gone. Do they come back at all? We'll have to find out. Manchester City then went on to win the league by one point, this time ahead of Chelsea. Luton, let's have a look. So this is the 27-28 season. Let's go down to 27-28. Luton went on, they finished sixth. That's unfortunate. We'll have a look soon, see where they, what they did in the playoffs. Then moving on to 28-29, they finished seventh. They got pipped to the playoffs by one goal on goal difference that well I suppose two goals because they'd have needed to have two goals to have actually gone above on goals scored but still that is unfortunate and then the most recent season they've dropped down to 13th so things have not been going all that well for Luton Town we will dive a bit further into it as well let's have a look what managers they've ended up with so following Pep leaving they brought in Rudy Garcia. He eventually got sacked and Lee Johnson came in. And that looks like that would have been the season they got sacked, I think. 26-27, is that right? 26-27 was indeed when they got sacked. So somewhat understandable that they sacked that manager. Then Mauricio Pochettino came in. Oh, wow. So he was there for three years. And eventually got sacked in May. Uh, that's just passed. So I assume for finishing so far down the league, they've they've sacked him. But three years in charge, Mo Pochettino. Let's have a quick look at what his career's been like. So he went from Chelsea, got sacked there, was out of work for three years, and then joined Luton. And eventually, he's been sacked because he lost the confidence of the dressing room. So, Pochettino, out of work for three years and goes to try and make it back as Luton manager and fails pretty drastically. Going back to the Premier League, though, this is the next season where Manchester City didn't win the league. They finished fourth, well off the pace. I say well off the pace. They're still seven points. That's a pretty close title race there, to be fair. Wonder if they maybe had a cup run as well. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And then most recently, they won the league by seven points, so a bit of more dominant force from Manchester City. And Pep Guardiola still in charge. I assume he hasn't left again. He has not. Is there any other trophies that have been in the cabinet? So we're looking at since... When was it? So we're looking at since 2026. They've... Won another Champions League with him. They've had a further three Premier Leagues, which we knew about. They've won a Club World Cup. A FA Cup, maybe? One more FA Cup. One more Super Cup. And three more Carabao Cups. We know how Pep likes the Carabao Cups. So Pep Guardiola returns to Manchester City and makes them dominant again. We've got one more save point that I've got to look at which takes us up to 2036. And the final one we're going to look at is the 2036-37 season. Let's have a little look at what's going on. Nothing in the job centre, so immediately looks like they're still in jobs. Something's gone wrong with this. Dave is seriously broken. Do not take any of this as being realistic because Tottenham have won two league titles. Therefore, it's got to be broken. But... Manchester United and Chelsea, both in the bottom half. Stoke at eighth. What on earth has gone on since that last save? 
I'm fairly sure Stoke weren't even in the Premier League. Manchester City, 20 points off the pace. What on earth is going on? No sign of Luton. Let's check the Premier League first. So the last time we were here was this season where they won it by seven points. They followed up with another seven-point victory over Arsenal. However, both teams going up one singular point and no Luton at that stage. The following season, oh, Luton did get promoted back to the Premier League. They went straight back down, but they did get promoted back up after sacking Mauricio Pochettino. We'll have a look at who managed to get them there. And Manchester City win the Champions League by two points. The Premier League. While Manchester City won the Premier League by two points that year, the following year is when Tottenham won the league. We'll pretend that's realistic. Manchester City dropping down to fifth place and they are 11 points off the pace there. Then I believe Liverpool won it. They did indeed. And City again, 11 points off the pace. No sign of Luton this season. Although 10th and 12th team place teams have both got European football. Villa nearly getting relegated as well. Uh, well, actually, two Midlands teams nearly getting relegated. And then I believe Liverpool go back to back. They do on goal difference against Manchester City. So they lose out by four goals. That is incredibly close. What else happened? No sign of Luton. So it appears they might be done. Fulham getting sixth place. And still, still no Stoke. West Ham are up there. West Brom are up there, but no Stoke. So the following season, Everton get relegated, but get European football. We finally see Stoke come in. They finish 10th straight away. Manchester City win the league by 13 points, so a dominant force there. Brighton getting top four. Villa bouncing back from near relegation to finish 7th. And then we've got the current season where Manchester City finishing 4th, 20 points off the pace. Stoke getting European football. All sorts are going on. Let's have a look at Manchester City. So they have lost Pep Guardiola we don't know where to yet well was he sacked did he leave we'll find out shortly five Champions Leagues uh, five Champions Leagues now so they won a further two in 2034 and 36 Premier League we've obviously seen the the three that they've won since our last look no more world FIFA World Cups one more Super Cup I don't think one more FA Cup two more FA Cups sorry and I think that's another one Carabao Cup and nobody cares about the Community Shield. So let's have a look what happened to Pep Guardiola. He left the managerial role in 2032. So what had they done in 2032 that caused him to do that? They lost in the Champions League quarterfinal. They got knocked out of the FA Cup. They got knocked out of the League Cup 5-0 to Bournemouth. Okay, that that happened, and 2032 was his final Premier League title. So he won the league and went, I'm off out of here. We'll have a look at where he ended up. Matthias Darm came in and got sacked uh, literally the following season, which I think was a bad season for them. The 22-33. Let's have a quick look. Just compare what happened. They finished fifth that Fair enough. I was going to try and defend him, but no, never mind. Diego Simeone came in. He He's the one that picked up a Champions League. Oh, there's a point we can see. So he picked up a Champions League and an FA Cup and a Super Cup before getting sacked in the November of 2034. So 2034, November, they weren't doing that bad. That seems a bit harsh to sack somebody. That seems very harsh in my in my book. But then again, do whatever you want to do. And then since then, Inzaghi's come in. He's won the Premier League, the Champions League and the Carabao Cup. However, not only the Carabao Cup this season and not a great finish. 20 points off the league. I'm surprised they're allowing an FA Cup to be enough for them. A Carabao Cup to be enough for them. 
but you do you. So, where did Pep Guardiola go to? He's, he's, he's at Tottenham. So, so he left Manchester City. He went to PSG, won them the Champions League. Was that their first Champions League? It would not have been, no. So he won them the Champions League, won them the league, uh, won the league again, won the league again and the Champions League, and then left them to go to Tottenham where he's won the Premier League. Fair enough. But why would you leave PSG to go to Tottenham? Would We'll just ask the question. I don't know. And let's go and have a look at what Luton have been up to. So the last time we looked at Luton, they'd finished 13th in the championship, which was when they sacked Pochettino. The following year, they got promoted. So whoever came in, we'll have a look at that in a moment, did get them promoted back to the Premier League. They then came straight back down. And following their relegation, they ended up in 8th place. Norwich and Birmingham both getting 12-point deductions. However, Birmingham surviving Norwich did not. So 8th place. And then 8th place again. So they're just not quite getting the playoffs here. The first season they were 1 point away. The sec No, it would be 4 points away. And the second season they were nowhere near really. And then following that, they dropped down to ninth. So they're always in and around the spots, but never quite managing to... They got relegated. Just out of nowhere, they just completely collapsed. Oh, hold on. They did get a points deduction. They went into administration. That might be why they got relegated. Without that, it still wasn't a strong season for them. Only fi they, they only did enough to finish 19th. But they would have survived. And I suppose we better go and have a look. Did they come straight back up? They have come straight back up. So, fair play to them, turning that around. Let's have a look at their managers. You, you all saw what I saw. So, it was Adam Barnett that got them promoted back to the Premier League, then got relegated. However, they gave him another two seasons before he left rather than was sacked. Uh, let's have a quick look. He went to manage Southampton. And then they brought in Berhalter, who they sacked. The following season, Chris Craig Mudd, who they sacked in the October. And then Calvin Phillips came in, got relegated. However, there was the points deduction, so you wouldn't necessarily put that on him. And he has turned it around and got them promoted back into the championship. So Calvin Phillips doing a bit of a job there. However, there is one of a big question, which is what became of Rob Edwards' After he left Luton Town, not a lot. So when he was sacked by Manchester City, he went to Saudi Arabia. So he had four years off after managing Manchester City, went to Saudi Arabia. After two years, left when his contract expires. Three years off. I mean, if you've managed Manchester City and managed in Saudi Arabia, you can probably afford the time off. However, he comes back, goes to Sunderland, gets sacked in the follow just over a year later and then after a further six months off he joins oxford so all in all what we've learned is pep guardiola did do a pretty decent job with luton however got a bit bored decided he wanted to go back for the money where it was a bit easier for him to win the leagues so not loads that we can see from his time at luton he survived which to be fair you'd probably take if you're a Luton fan and finish in 14th the following year and seemingly put them in a decent position. I say that. He did what he could. He, he, didn't, he didn't flop like some people claim he would. He kept them up in a very shoestring budget, so you can't knock him for that. Pep did well. Rob Edwards did pretty well, to be fair to him, winning the Champions League. Didn't win the league, but that's still a pretty good showing for him. But yeah, if you'd like to see more experiences like this, please do leave a like down below. Comment what surprised you most about that. I know it was Tottenham winning the league. You don't need to tell me, but please do leave a comment anyway. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content and thank you very much for watching.